Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm here to uh, uh, demonstrate how to tie the Van Vyck knot. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but that's the best I can do. So uh, if you have any corrections, let me know. Uh, this is my first how-to video, uh, but I've worn this knot a couple of times and it seems to, to work out well. It's a little tedious, so I'd say it's kind of a medium to high difficulty uh, to tie. Uh, to start with, you have to you have to use a, a real the, a really lot of length, and that's the big end that you're going to be tying with, not this little end like a lot of the other uh, fancy knots that we tie. Uh, so I, I kind of get it up real high, and, I, and that may not be a protocol, but uh, that's that's how I do it, and it seems to work out best with the ties that I own. Um, this is not a very expensive tie. Uh, it may have cost me 10 bucks, but um, it looks nice when it's tied with all these different knots. Uh, you can really see the lines, and it's not uh, too busy. So here we go. The first thing you do um, is you cross the big end over the little end. You go up through the loop and down. And you come around. Now what you're going to do is you're going to be making a, a, uh, pretty much three loops. So what I like to do is uh, use this hand and kind of put my finger there so I'll have a little bit of space. And you can tie this kind of loose and then tighten it up. But uh, you don't want to get it too loose or too tight. So you go one. What you want to do is you're going to, you're going to be tying kind of uh, up. So when you get this one loop in, you want to go up a little bit because you want these, these uh, overlaps to kind of show. That's what kind of makes it uh, uh, a helix pattern and it kind of makes it look neat. You go one, two, and then three. So that's, that's three right there, okay? And then what you're gonna do after that is come up, over, and now the tricky part is to get it through all these three layers of fabric, which are, uh, despite my best intentions, uh, still pretty tight. So I'll reach in there. Hold on a second. Pull this through. Now, here you gotta kind of straighten everything up. Um, you got one, two, and then three showing, pretty much. And the way to tighten those up, to, to make it really snug, is you uh, pull on the big end, and that tightens them up and gets them to kind of overlap. You may not want that much overlap, just, just enough to kind of give it the... And I don't uh, dimple this tie, I try not to. Um, it tends to show off the bat a little bit better. Um, Plus, uh, I found that some of the dimples and everything in some of the knots I tie actually end up creasing the tie a little bit, so... But, you know, you tighten it up with a small end, just like you normally would any uh, regular knot, like a foreign hand or, or what have you. And then you take and uh, flip down the collar, and uh, there you have it. It's the Van Veek knot, or however you want to say that. Um, but it looks really good. Uh, actually, this one's tied kind of short uh, for me, so maybe I, I started with a little bit too late, but that gives you the general idea of how to do the knot. Uh, it's kind of a barrel, you know, and uh, it's, it's just another different look for you. Thanks.